Uh, ciao, my name is Ron Falcone and I'm the host of Meet Your Neighbor. I had this idea back in the fall of 2006 where I wanted to interview lo lo local politicians, local business people, and even students to come down to the studios here at Brunswick Area Television so all of you could meet your neighbor. We have a very special guest today. Her name is Selena Pasadena and she is the Wendy's Heis Heis uh, Wendy's High School Heisman Trophy winner. And uh, I just wanted to welcome you to the studios. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Um, Selena, can you tell us something about yourself that maybe not too many people know about you? Sure. A lot of people maybe hear about my academic or athletic achievements in the newspaper. But what they don't know about me is that I do have enough time to spend with my family and friends. <laughs> and I do enjoy camping and riding roller coasters and doing various activities in my downtime. Well, that's good. <laughs> and because we, we've all read about you in, in the Plain Dealer and in the uh, Sun Times. And uh, I know recently, the, I, I was at City Hall when um, the mayor actually made, uh, I believe it was February 14th, as uh, Selena Pasadena Day yes. here in the city. <laughs> Selena, you talked about this. You, uh, can you tell us about your family? Sure. I have three younger sisters, okay. Vanessa, Cassandra, and Felicia, okay. who are 13, 11, and 9 years old, okay. and my parents, Janine and Leon Pasadena. Okay. And where do your uh, sisters go to school? They go to school at... Well, it's middle school, Vanessa and Cassandra do, okay. and Huntington Elementary for Felicia. Okay. Now, well, where do you live? Do you live here in the, in the area? Yeah, I live in Hinkley, Ohio, and I've lived here all my life. Okay. Now, describe your um, still um, budding educational background. Yeah. Where did you go to school so far? Well, I went to elementary school at Huntington Elementary. Okay. Willits Middle School for middle school, and okay. then Brunswick High School. Now, you're only 16. Yes. And you're a senior right now at um, Brunswick High School. So yeah. where, where did you, um, you must have skipped a grade somewhere then. Yeah. Where was that? Well, I went into kindergarten a year early through the early entrance program. Oh, okay. And then the next year went right up to second grade. Oh, well, you went right, right up to second grade. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, as I mentioned, you are the recipient of what's called the Wendy's High School Heisman Award. Can you describe that? And what is it, uh, what is it first of all? Yeah, so the Wendy's High School Heisman Award is a scholarship competition. Okay. And you can apply through it online, and you fill out an application that will ask you what you're involved in, what sports you play, your grades, what you do in the community, your leadership roles. And then they take into account academics, athletics, community service, and leadership to evaluate all the applications. So it's like an all-around um, yeah, all type of a yeah, student. Yeah, it promotes the all-around individual. And what they do is pick a school winner, then they narrow it down to a state finalist, then a state winner, then a national finalist, then a national winner. Oh, wow. My gosh. So and I was wondering, when did this process start for you? What, when did you start applying for, for the award? In early October. Early October yeah. of uh, 2011? 2011, correct. Okay. Yeah. And then they narrowed, it, they, they narrowed it down to how many people in the... In the, in the state then? Yeah, well there's 48,000 people who applied. Oh, total? total. All, over, all over the all country? All over the country. Wow, okay. Yeah, 48,000 and they started off by p posting on the website all the school winners. Okay. Then and I... Obviously you won the school. Yeah, I won okay. for Brunswick High School. Okay. And then, as I said before, they go to the state finalist, which is the top 10 in each state. Okay. And I watched that this whole time I was watching my name on the website keep oh. coming back. Yeah. So you you just what logged on and you're watching your name yeah. as you as you proceeded then mm -hmm. over the uh, over the months then to see how yeah how every everything... couple of weeks they would re-update it on okay. the next levels winner. So you saw you won here in Brunswick and mm -hmm. then eventually you, yeah. you were selected for the state and how I'm sorry how many were uh, finalists for the state? Ten. Say ten. Mm -hmm. So I bet you were really excited when yeah, you got the ten. Yeah, I was happy about that. Okay. And then the state winner comes next. Okay. And so then it's the top you in got, the state. Then you got this top one for the state. Mm -hmm. So you must have been going, going nuts then yeah. at this point in time. Okay. Yeah, I was very excited. And I kept watching the website for the national finalist, and it wasn't okay. appearing. And I'm sitting in <laughs> class one day, and I hear on the announcements, Mrs. Wheeler, our principal, come on. And okay. she began talking a little bit about the Wendy's competition and said that Colin Curtis, a boy from our school, and I had won for the school. Oh. So I thought, oh, maybe she's just announcing it. So she kept going saying how I'd made the state winner, and then she said, but wait, there's more. And she announced that I was the national finalist. Oh, wow. And I just started crying. I was so, so surprised. <laughs> and in through the door came my coaches, my teachers, my family, 
and they presented me with a national finalist medal and everything, and it was a that must have been so. so yeah, it was awesome. a great moment because I knew I was going to New York. And now, now, how many finalists? How many national finalists were there? Twelve. There was twelve. Yeah, okay. six males and six females. Oh, okay, and there were. I assume they were from all over the country. Yes. And were they concentrated in one region at all, or? No, they were from all over the country. All over yeah. the country. Okay, and then, so what? They 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 flew you out to to New York on, mm -hmm. on their dime. Yeah. And so, have you ever been to New York before? Yes, I had been there once before, actually for a Columbia recruiting visit. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So then you probably gave you, they they probably gave you a chance then to to go out there and, and look at New York a little more in depth. Perhaps. Yeah, in our hot our hotel room overlooked Times Square. Okay. And we went to the Rockettes Radio in Radio City Music Hall, and we saw the Statue of Liberty. Went under the Brooklyn Bridge, saw Ellis Island. Wow. So yeah, it was a great, great experience. Saw a taste of the city. Did you get to know the other twelve? I mean, the, with the other eleven finalists then? Yeah, I got to know them very well, and they're a great group of kids. They have a lot of the same values that I do in terms of the hard work and their sports and their schoolwork. So it was great to get to meet them. Okay, so then you meet them, and, and uh, how? Uh, how long did this process take? Then did you they fly you out there? Did they fly you out there? The what on a Thursday or a Friday? Yeah, and Thursday then, evening. Okay, and then when did they announce the uh, the winner? Friday night. Friday night. Yeah. Okay, and so now you didn't know. No one knew who the winner was going to be. Mm -mm. So how did tell? Can you describe for us how did that uh, how did that go down then? Yeah. Well, we were at the ceremony and they played little bios on each person and we okay. all got to watch them and I'm sure we were all thinking everybody else here is just so impressive. So we sat there and we actually, all 12 of us, held hands because we were very nervous. But I think we were all happy for each other, no matter who won, because we all knew we were very deserving. And when I heard my name announced, I was absolutely astonished. I was thrilled. <laughs> yeah. That is great. So then, um, so then they gave you this, um, this award here, this yeah. uh, trophy. Did, and this is very, very impressive. What else did, the, did the, any other prize uh, come your way then after? After this? Yeah, well, because it's athletics, they can't give scholarships directly to me. Okay. But they did award my school $10,000 okay. and $500 great. to me in Wendy's gift cards. <laughs> so. They'll be eating at Wendy's then for a yes, while. Yes, yes, I will. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, you also, um, you also talked about your uh, aptitude in sports. Can you tell us which, uh, which sports you play? Yeah, I'm in, involved in cross country in the fall, swimming in the winter, and track in the spring. Okay, how did you pick, how did you pick those three? Yeah, well, I've always been swimming since I was younger, and my mom's a swimmer, so she got my sisters and I introduced into that sport, and I've been doing it since I was seven. And then in seventh grade, I went out for cross country and found that I really loved it and had a talent for it. So I did track as well, and then continued all three throughout high school. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, no, I, you know, I, I'm also aware that on your college entrance exams, you scored a perfect on the, on the math, and then also on the, on the ACT. Can you, uh, and it's been a while since I've been, <laughs> since I did yeah. college entrance exam, so what, what, were, what was the score for, for those? Yeah, well, the SAT subject test, Math 2, is out of an 800, and I scored an 800 on wow. that. Wow, perfect. Yeah, perfect, and then a perfect on the ACT as well with a 36 in the math section. That's impressive. How did, yeah. you, how did you prepare for that? Well, I did a lot of studying. I checked out books from the library and used my resources, and I worked really hard to achieve those. <laughs> Any tips to, to students out there who maybe want to, to emulate you and your, <laughs> your achievements? Yeah, a couple of tips I would give would be time management. Okay. There, it's extremely important to stay focused and get all your work done that needs to be done. And secondly, just having hard work and discipline to know you have certain goals and you want to reach those. Yes. How do you find time to, to balance all of this? Because, I mean, it seems like you've... You, you obviously go to school during the day and then right afterwards you have some kind of sport and then how do you, how do you find time to, to balance all of that? Yeah, well, I certainly I prioritize. I make sure I'm doing the schoolwork that needs to be done and I'm not watching TV, I'm not playing video games. <laughs> so I make sure I get everything done that needs to, all my homework, my projects, presentations, whatever it may be. And just keeping it all organized in a timely manner, I think, is key to my success in that area. Yeah. Do you have like a Facebook account or anything No, I like don't. That or I don't have texting or, or, or texting Twitter or none of that. <laughs> don't have time. <laughs> it, um, what are your favorite subjects in school? Well, I've always been interested in math and I also like of course, science. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> and what are your, what are your plans after, after high school? Yeah, well, I applied to six schools 
And so I'm waiting on all my acceptances and to make a decision at that point. But I'm thinking of pre-med, possibly a biology or biochemistry major. Wow, can, can I ask which schools you're, you're thinking about? Yeah, well, I applied to Harvard, Yale, Columbia, wow. Cornell, Washington University, and St. Louis, and Case. That's, that's really impressive. Yeah. Um, I think we, we, you kind of touched on this before, but what, what are some of the things you'd like to do for, for fun? Yeah, I know I touched on this at the beginning, but I do enjoy going camping with my family. Okay. We have a pop-up camper, and we like to travel during the summer. Any place in particular you guys like to, to travel to? Yeah, we like Mohican State Park. Mohican State Park. Yeah. That's very, good. Very wonderful place to go. And we also take annual trips to Cedar Point, and I enjoy riding roller coasters. And <laughs> I enjoy spending time with my friends outside of school, whether it's just hanging out or going to Lemon Berry, our favorite frozen yogurt place. Either way, we enjoy to spend time together. Selena, for every guest on the show, I'd like to play a game of fill in the blank. So okay. what if you would indulge me here. Mm -hmm. When I was a child, I'm sorry, you still are a child. <laughs> when I was a child, I blank. I love to read. You love to read. Yes. Explain that. What, how old were you when you started reading? You well, know, you know? I don't really do remember, remember, but I do remember that being a young child, I absolutely loved to read. I was always asking my parents to either read to me or sit with me while I read, whatever the case may be, and I devoured book after book, and I still love to do. Any kind of particular books you like to read? Is it fiction, nonfiction, or is um, It doesn't anything? really matter, just about anything. I, one thing that sticks out in my mind is Harry Potter. I kind of grew up on that, and my youngest <laughs> sister's reading it right now, and I'm very <laughs> proud of her for following in my footsteps. Wow. So. Hey, um, what, what about the one place I want to travel to um, but, but what haven't is blank. Probably the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon? Yeah. Why, why, why the Grand Canyon? Well, I think it's always a natural wonder that I've been intrigued by, and I know mm -hmm. my parents have been there, and that's some place I've always Sounds wanted like, to go, go yeah, out well, west. I've never been there before. I'd like, yeah. to, I'd like to see that also. What about the, the person or persons that I admire most? I Those admire my parents. Your parents? Yeah, they've, they've given a lot for me, and they've definitely set me up for success, so I'm very thankful for that. That's good. Yeah. Um, and we have a long time to think about this, but when I retire, I blank. I might finally relax. <laughs> <laughs> when I retire, maybe I won't be so stressed out with my school and my sports. I'll just have time to relax and enjoy life. Okay. I mean, I am right now, but no, more I, relaxed I, no, no, I, I get it. Can, yes. Selena, can you give any neighborly advice to people who are watching right now in, in Brunswick, Brunswick Hills, um, Wadsworth, Wadsworth Township, or people watching on the internet? Yeah, my advice would be just work hard and reach for, your, reach for your dreams because I've been doing that ever since I was a young kid. And even though I've had my failures, I have always get back up, keep going, keep working hard. And the night that I won that Wendy's High School Heisman National winner, I just, it felt amazing inside to know I reached my goal from all that hard work. And, I would give that advice to everyone out there watching. I'm, certainly I'm so happy for you. Oh, it's, just, um, it's just such a tremendous achievement for you. Thanks. And I'm sure your, your, uh, your mom who's out here in the audience yeah. must be so proud. And of course, you've, you've, put the, uh, you've put the city on the map as well. Oh, thank you. And uh, you know, but thank you for, for coming down to the, uh, to the studios today and, and chatting with, with oh, me. Oh, you're welcome. So. <laughs> thank you for having me. I'm going to hold this here. Uh, see if I can grab this. Is pretty, this is pretty heavy here. I think you just got this recently, didn't you? Just, just yep, it just came in the mail in a very nice <laughs> trophy case. Wow. So. And you have the little Heisman guy on the, on mm -hmm. the front here, too. Okay. Yep. Well, you know, my name is uh, Ron Falcone. I'm the host of Meet Your Neighbor. I wanted to thank Selena Pasadine for thank coming you. down and uh, chatting with us about her great accomplishments. And Selena, once again, thank you very much. You're welcome. My name is Ron Falcone. I don't get to hold one of these that often, so I'm going <laughs> to sign off with it. And I am signing off. Arrivederci.